details by higher ups in BP and Halliburton. The reason why they haven't covered them is because the ones that I just read from Halliburton and BP don't exist, at least not from them. Actually, these are exact quotes in emails from the world leading uh, climate scientists about global warming. I just changed the topic. It's ClimateGate 2.0, the latest release of private emails from the engine of the global climate scare. The highest profile scientist in the middle of the world's highest profile merger of science and politics. You know how they sound in public. How they, how they're all saying this is science is settled. It's got to use this way. It's got to be. But how are they talking to each other in private? In public, there's no doubt. Any questioning equivalent to the Holocaust denial. You just have Barbara Boxer saying that you're endangering all of humankind. But in private, here are the actual emails. ClimateGate 2, quote, The science is being manipulated to put a political spin on it. Might not be too clever in the long run, end quote. Quote, I find myself being very skeptical of the quality of all the reconstructions, yet sounding like a pro-greenhouse zealot here, end quote. Quote, it's just downright dangerous. We need to communicate the uncertainty and be honest, end quote. Quote, basic problem is all the models are wrong. There's not enough middle and low level clouds, end quote. Quote, what if, a, what if climate change appears to just be mainly a multi-decadal natural fluctuation? They'll kill us, probably, end quote. Quote, there have been a number of dishonest presentations of model results by individual authors and by the IPCC, end quote. Quote, we need to convince readers that there really has been an increase in knowledge, more evidence. What is it? End quote. In public, Al Gore was saying this. Another friend of mine, go ahead and say, just read this. Mm -hmm. Another friend of mine, Alani Thompson, studied glaciers. Here's Alani with a silver of a once mighty, with a sliver, I'm sorry, it's not a silver, it's a sliver. Here's Alani with a sliver of a once mighty glacier. Within the decade, there will be no more snows of Kilimanjaro. <laughs> you know, there's the whole quote, Kilimanjaro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This email exchange, um, is actually specifically discussing how Lonnie Thompson, the same guy in the Al Gore picture, isn't finding the warming necessary to support the claims. And here's what he said. Would you agree there is no convincing evidence for Kilimanjaro melt being due to recent warming, let alone man-made warming? I mean, that's the exact opposite of what these guys were saying in public. Wow. Exact opposite. Wow. On CNN, when I was over on CNN, I had John Christie on, headline news. And uh, his quote was, half the snow was gone when Hemingway wrote the snows of Kilimanjaro, end quote. That tells you right there that the cause of the snow melt was not human effects on climate. There is no upward trend in temperatures for that region. That's a quote from him. In public, scientists tell us they're not hiding anything, but in private, quote, one way to cover yourself delete all the emails at the end of this process. Quote, any work we've done in the past is done in the back of a research grant that we got. It has to be well hidden. End quote. Quote, the government, the government wants the story to be a very strong one and don't want to be made to look foolish. End quote. Quote, somehow we have to leave them thinking, okay, climate change is extremely complicated, but I accept that people are affecting it. End quote. Quote, I'm not convinced that this truth, in quotation marks, is always worth reaching if it's at the cost of a damaged personal relationship, end quote. <laughs> in public, science, uh, scientists criticize uh, supposed propaganda from the evil oil companies, but in private, they admit they're depending on it. Quote, 500 million people are expected to watch the day after tomorrow. We have to pray that they pick up the message. Well, at least here they're praying. 
Al Gore used footage from the day after tomorrow in his documentary film. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. These emails are from a batch of 5,000 out of the over 200,000 that supposedly exist. We don't yet know who is releasing them. Is it a whistleblower on the inside? Is it a hacker of some sort? If it is a hacker, it's illegal and wrong, and the ends don't justify the means. Theft is theft. But why will no one cover it? And you need to be informed on what the truth is about climate change and how Barbara Boxer is lying yet again. The only thing threatening humankind are humans and their lives. <laughs> Every day, join us on air and online. GDTV.com and WGY.com. The Glenn Beck Program, now on News Talk WGY. When you need to know, it's AM 810 and 1031 FM. WGY News, I'm Jim Gagliardi. Clouds lingering flurries, 35 degrees at 930. Well, not a lot of snow fell in the metro areas of the capital region last night, but there are still some outages. Most affected counties, Schenectady County, Columbia County, Rensselaer, and Schoharie counties. Most snow fell on the higher elevations in the east and south, including three to four inches in Rensselaer County and six in Columbia County. A woman who was walking in the middle of Albany Street in Schenectady hit by a car. The girl Angela Leverett of Albany Street struck by a driver about 6.30 last night. No word on why she was walking in the middle of the road. Leverett was initially taken to Ellis Hospital, then transferred to Albany Medical Center. And the number of people applying for unemployment benefits at its lowest level in nine months some evidence that the job market is improving. Coming up, traffic and weather together. More Glenn Beck on the way. WGY News Time coming up to 931. Do you only obey God when it's convenient or even when it's not? For Joseph, following and obeying God must have felt infuriating at times. It filled his whole life with stress. Can't you see Joseph reasoning, God? I've got orders to fill and chairs to build and business to conduct. What's with all these dreams and visions and angels appearing to Mary with special news? Where are you taking us? What's going on, God? Or am I just going crazy? See, even though it didn't always make perfect sense in advance, Joseph obeyed God's plan, and that's why we honor him today. But make no mistake, following God was not easy then, and it's not easy now. Thanks for listening to Grace on the Go from Grace Fellowship Church in Latham. Download Grace on the Go archives at gracefellowship.com. On the throughway northbound between exit 21B and exit 21A, police are on the scene of an accident there. Also, 88 westbound between exit 25 and exit 24. Traffic is reduced to one lane. The right and center lanes are closed. On 787 northbound at exit 5, traffic is reduced to one lane for construction. I-90 westbound at exit 2, the right lane is closed for construction as well. In the Price Chopper Traffic Center, I'm Jeff Wise. This traffic report brought to you by Price Chopper. Price Chopper brings you the best in fresh baked goods for the holidays and all year round. This week, buy one just baked nut bread and get two free with card. And buy one six pack of Kaiser rolls and get two more free with card. That's helpful for the holidays. That's Price Chopper value. Weather Channel forecast for today. Flurry snow showers, clouds, maybe some sun. Windy high about 40. Tonight clear, cold low 26. Clouds early tomorrow, then partly cloudy later in the day, the Friday high 39. Right now, clouds lingering flurries, 35 degrees. I'm Jim Gagliardi, News Talk WGY. The conservative underground meets right now. This is the John Hannity Morning Minute. All right, back to Obama. Buckle up. You want to know what this election cycle is going to be about? Yes, Republicans want poor children and the elderly and autistic children and children with Down syndrome to fend for themselves, and they want dirty air and dirty water, and they want to throw Grandma off the cliff, is the president yesterday. They want to return to the same practices that got us into this mess. In fact, they want to go back to the same policies that stack the deck against middle-class Americans for way too many years. And their philosophy is simple. We are better off when everybody is left to fend for themselves and play by their own rules. Yes, fend for yourselves, and it doesn't matter how many lies I have to tell to win this re-election.
join Sean later today right here on the Sean Hannity Show. Introducing OnStar FMV for my vehicle. The safety of OnStar for your car. I'm sorry, emergency. Is she okay? No, she's holding your eyes. Okay, I'm gonna get the police out there to help your mom. Okay. Please. This is my star emergency. I have a young child that pressed their emergency button. She's saying that her mom keeps closing her eyes, but she's still driving. Do you have some care and tropical care? Okay. I can help you. Hello? Somebody please. I'm always that evil. That's why you're supposed to clean your roof off. Yes. 